Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Energon Igniter movie. Bum baby. But first and foremost, let's take a quick look. Package in there, we got a image of our Autobot, our favorite Autobot, Bumblebee. And then we have a Energon... Sorry, it's been cut off a little bit. John Igniter and Core. Enter John Igniter Core, and there we got Bumblebee from Transformers Bumblebee movie. Ages 6. And Hasbro. Then we have some instructions if you want to read the instructions and how to insert the igniter. Um, and all the warning precautions and stuff and more reading, more stuff. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. I'm going to look at this bot. And it's, look at it. It's a neat Volkswagen bug. Because that's what the Bumblebee movie and G1 Bumblebee were. Volkswagen bugs. And this is a good representation down to the paint and the sculpting. I want to get the studio series one of these days. But for now, he'll do. And now we're going to get down to comparison. Here he is next to Energon Igniter Optimus Prime. He didn't come with the igniter, so we're going to show off the igniters. How to use the igniter. So we're going to bring in the igniter. Plug it into Prime. Oh, it's on backwards. And like so, we're going to plug it in, plug it in. As the saying goes. And now, we're going to push this hammer piece, this little piece back here. And he didn't go. Maybe this will do it. And look at that. He rolls. Oh, that is sweet with these igniters. Let's do it on Bumblebee. And then we'll get down to actual transformation as soon as I disconnect the igniter from Prime. Because that's a fun gimmick. We're going to push this up, push these to the side. Warm some sort of blasters. And now we're going to plug in our igniter incorrectly and uh, and now we got it plugged in we're going to let it roll yay that is so much fun it was so much fun I love how fun these things are now down to transformation for our bumblebee Gonna start by pulling these pieces around, flipping down these pieces, and untabbing the arms, which is very easy. Fold them down like this, pull up the hood, and pull these up. And there we have our robot mode. Looking very impressive and very good looking. He can hold this as a weapon, but I can't get, get him to hold this. So that's all there is going to be safe for the igniter part. <laughs> and now we're going to compare him. Really good paint. Really good sculpting. He got some really good paint effects and really good sculpting. He's got a hand so he can hold a weapon. If you want to give him a weapon. But he's got a gun arm where you go... <laughs> Shoot you with the laser, Gatler. That's what he's got in his arm. Sorry, that was my laser sound. My Gatlin sound. You can see his blue eyes. And he's well molded and well art. He doesn't have any articulation in the legs, which is a real letdown. But all in all, great figure. Now we're going to compare him with Prime. Because what's a Bumblebee movie comparison without comparing him 
to a prime from this line. And here we have him next to his Lita Optimus Prime. Would have been great if he showed on Earth sooner. That's my only nitpick about it. But there you have the Bumblebee movie. Op I mean, Bumblebee movie. Sorry about stuttering. Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee. In all his glory. And where I got this, I got this from Amazon for 17 bucks. You could probably find it for less, maybe on eBay, if you're lucky. And this is Eddie Hill. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, and it's Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out.